What? Okay. Uh, yeah, we're, 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 losing is not a thing we do, right? There's no such thing as losing. All right. Uh, pauses on a key that I want to accidentally press. And let's see. We have currently one win in a row. We got a win on Zoltan B last time. So we're going to random from there and see what happens today. I think our last loss was on a, a slug B run that was kind of doomed because you're always behind on that ship, right? Losing is fun, I'm told. <laughs> What's up, Britna? <laughs> uh, it builds character. Oh, I have enough character. I don't need any more of that. I need success, right? Well, either way, I'm going to try to play as optimally as possible to get training. Be patient to get training. Uh, make sure I'm always manning doors. All the little tiny things that you need to do to give yourself the best chances at winning. So let's see. Here we go. We're in hard difficulty. Pauses off. Let's see what our random ship of the day is going to be first. Three, two, one, and random. The Kestrel A. Well, now there's a great ship to start the day off. Baby Streak got stealth bead. Uh, your Baby Streak got stealth bead, yikes. Isn't there an album from a rapper suffering from success? Sure. There's a forced asteroid field and a forced nebula storm fight. Oh, gosh. That's, that is horrible, yeah. Well... I'm glad I'm not Stealth B, uh, and I feel like I haven't played uh, Kestrel A in a while. Man, just, just, this ship seems like it's kind of average except for the fact, you know, it's only got three humans for crew, doesn't have anything to sell, but man, just Burst Laser 2 and Artemis Missile to start is so, so strong. So let's see, let's hope we don't get immediately wrecked. The classic, the classic Kestrel A. Well, what I might get wrecked by is, uh, a bunch of empty jumps, so let's hope for not that. Okay. Um, sure, I'll take that deal. Okay, get my fingers warmed up a little bit here. Alright, let's see here. Okay, uh, one drone part for seven fuel seems pretty good. Do I need... I need all three jumps if I want to get two extra jumps. You watched the first half of Three Amigos, you had some great laughs, nice. Great, great, great. Okay, no lost crew and a frickin' free NG for blue options. God love it. Okay, speaking of, uh, need to make sure we have people indoors. Let's do that. So we're gonna save you here. We're gonna move you there. So if there's no borders, we hit enter and we get on shields. Okay, early NG crew is amazing. Always, always get some laughs from three amigos. Okay, I've had zero fights in four, four jumps. I like fuel and NGs as much as the next guy, but okay, here we go. Attack the pirate. Please don't be his old shield pirate. Okay, beautiful. Do -do 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 -do. This guy, with this we with these weapons, I'm going to try to not use a missile. Okay, took one damage and he dodged two out of three of my shots. I'm gonna still be try to be greedy. Good dodge. Perfect. Okay. Pretty good ship, this ship? Yeah, the weapons are just... Really like it, better, boots hey, hey, it's like it, better, 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 appreciate that, man. Rock, oh, oh. Finally a, catching you, Liv. Here's to good say, RNG. He really likes watching my stream, but the uh, the notifications make it unlistenable. So I don't know if I agree with that, but I did turn all my notifications a little bit quieter. So apologies if that bugs anybody. But I thought, you know, I could at least make them not quite so loud. Okay, good. Should be good now. But thank you for those 100 bits. That's really nice. Okay, don't repair the piloting before we shoot, please. All right, one damage. Use no missiles. It's probably worthwhile trade. Go there. I think I want to just have these doors be open. And do this. If I ever need to even out the O2, let's do that. All right, so would we even want an early store? Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two. Okay, yeah. He thinks devs at least d 
did think about making this shit playable for new players, so the FDL had time to draw them in. That's right. You didn't get the part about the notification. I, I'm, I made the notifications quieter, so they're not so loud. That's what I did. Okay, all right. Fairly weak ship. I like it. Let's go for shields first this time. Who's going to hit my weapons or shields? Oh, great dodge. Beautiful. Um... Basically, his response is, I changed it because of a YouTube comment, and I thought, you know, probably my notifications are a little too loud sometimes. I don't want to turn them off, but I can make them quieter. If this ship had a system, it would be top five. Uh, yeah, like a starting... Yeah. Uh, unless it had artillery, then it would go down a tier. Ooh, double reward? Double reward, nice. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if there's a store down here, and if there's a store at any place but here, I can go there. So I'm going to wait one more jump to not spend scrap on shield value point. Okay, okay. Zoldan shield, but his weapons are bad. That's three ships with only a single shot and a mini beam. That's, I'm going to say thank you for those weapons. I forgot to move my crew the doors. I need to remember to do that, not make little mistakes like that. Okay, that's 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 a fire. You have this ship at eighth place. Eight out of what is it, twenty-three or whatever? Uh oh god, okay, I can't read your wall of text yet. Give me a second. Back up shields. Okay, good. Keep him from running. It's not a good enough deal. I might have to use one missile. We'll see. Depends on how fast he repairs. Looks like I'm probably okay. Great. Okay. Uh, you have to say one thing about Three Amigos, you don't know with whom to share it. Steve Martin, Martin Short, their black-white movie with their makeup and their facial expression kills you. Don't remember, it was so hilarious. Okay, it is pretty hilarious, yes. Uh, Fed R artillery would be Fed A. Uh, no, because our Fed A doesn't have our Artemis, but you did say Kappa, so. Uh, if it started with hacking, it would possibly be first or second. Yeah, absolutely. Is it true that most runs are decided by how first two, three seconds go? Kind of makes sense to me. Since you start getting ahead, you'll get ahead more and more. Most runs, probably, yes. Start falling behind, you fall more and more behind, yeah. Most deaths are first three sectors, Britmouth says. Okay. But I don't see a store, so let's go ahead and get... Let's go ahead and just get our second shield. All right, so... Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. If I had something to sell at the start, yeah, that would also make it very strong. Okay, interesting. So I do have two shields for this fight. Only one dodge. This is a this is a chance at a double reward, right? That's honestly a pretty good bribe. Um, if I don't take the bribe, what is my uh What is what is my reward? Chance at double reward. Okay. Not because you fall behind so much, it's the sector three jump where you meet two shields and five weapon power. Okay. I think I'm gonna go for this. We'll use an our Ar Artemis uh for the first time here. I think it's worth the chance of the double reward here. Well, now there's a reward. Okay. He's gonna let us give it a chance at dodge training there. Oh, Zeldon Shield plus Missile, my favorite. Okay. Okay, we gotta use extra missiles here. Um...
Okay, that's uh, that's a two damage missile. And he dodged apparently my missile, man. God damn it, man. Okay, that should get us through. Um, can we not let him fire another missile? Would be great. Well, that's. What was that? Eight damage from this fight? God damn it, missiles are broken. Eight damage, I think that was. Can I at least have a double reward for eight damage? Okay, okay we get a double reward. That makes it a little more palatable. Still, not sure that that was worth, but. Yikes. Uh, feel sometimes in a hard mode in the first sector when you have to flee one or two times. Feel like you're quitting and already restart because there's not there's not much scrap and you're losing some at the beginning is crucial. Uh, if you're hard mode, yes. You, that can be get you far behind, but I don't know that I would immediately give up that quickly. Okay, one power. Now we're saving up for store. We want to get hacking. We want to get a weapon upgrade. That's what we're looking at next. Um, do I take this deal? Nah, not yet. I don't need to start trading missiles yet. Zoltan shields and missiles should be banned. Oh man, I wish. <sighs> yeah. If they have a missile, I absolutely use a missile. I will agree that it feels bad losing any scrap sector one, but it's not run ending. It just means you're behind and it makes it more difficult. So I wouldn't just immediately restart. Because you can always get a free pre-igniter or a free ha uh, flak or something, so. The ways to recover, that's nice. Free repair, man, there's, there's ways to come back. Okay, there's a store, 52 scrap. And we have the hacking stun to sell. That's right. That gave us a really good deal earlier. Oh yeah, I've had many, many comebacks in my years of FTL. Uh, this puts me 82 scrap. I could get a clone bay. What do you all think? I don't think it's worth buying a clone bay when all we really want right now is a weapon upgrade, right? Sub-50 scrap, Sector 1 should be very rare, yeah. Now, if there was a hacking, of course, we'd 100% buy it, but with this, we're looking for only hacking or a weapon right now. I think those are the only things we're really looking for. No clone bay. All right, we're on the same page. Can I get another, another NG? Darn. We could have gotten a silly device there. Oh, well. Abandoned 2 is really nice. Okay. Let's get some scrap gains, man. Let's get some scrap gains. So here's a question. If we get the option for a random weapon for, what is it, 50 scrap, should we take it? That's like the, the best option, right? Is the, the random weapon for that event? Okay. What kind of drone do you have? Combat drone. Okay, that's probably better than if he has a repair drone. Let's check if he has one. He does have a repair drone, Jan. Put that in the wrong place. Okay, well, we did get the missile offline. Okay. Okay. Get this repaired. I don't want to. Don't want to run out of health or run out of. Uh, well, health either, but O2. Oh, come on, man. What are these effing dodges? God damn it. Oh, come on, man. Guys, that's 75% of my shots. Jesus Christ, that's some bullshit dodges right there. Oh god, Anonymous just gifted 10 subs. Holy shnikes. Okay. Well, there we go. It's time for the, uh... 
subscribe. Time for the notification to annoy people, I guess. Thanks for oh, subscribing. God, that was insane. To the oh, I'm pretty sure if you go back and count up the number of dodges there, that was at least 60% of my shots. Oh, that's insane. Thanks for subscribing. Who was it? To Anonymous the gifter. Oh, the best kind of anonymous gifter. Oh man, okay, well I sure am glad we got that five free hole repair earlier. Yeah, I really want a store. So if there's a store there, we go there. If there's not, we go this way. We want to see every sector we can if possible. Alright. Well, to everybody who just got a gifted sub, welcome or welcome back. And whoever anonymously gifted it, you are way too generous. I really appreciate that. Okay, what do we got? Subscribing. Mm -hmm. oh, no. no hacking on this guy. I don't think he can damage us. So the channel. No, no. We scan the ship is always a fight. Good. He can't damage us. Yay! Somebody who can't damage us. Uh, no, no. Can I think this is the first ship that has been unable to damage us. This no, no. So if that's the case, I could very slowly get some training, right? I can do the thing where I do this. Uh, I even get the weapon training. Let's see if I can time this correctly. Oh, uh, he's running. Never mind. No more training. I could have taken damage there. Uh, I better use one missile. Okay. Of course he runs away. Of course. That wasn't even a very good reward. Okay, okay. 108 scrap. So we'll go here. If there's no store there, we go down to see those. The only place that would be a bad place for a store would be this jump, so I'm going to not even worry about trying to see that jump. Yeah, he's about to start jumping. Yes, he was. Um... <laughs> Who needs a store when they could just give you a free weapon, man? Yes. Yes. Yes, I would love a free heavy laser to help me out on my way. Oran Jesus, thank you. That is so stinking good. That's an empty jump. Still would love to find hacking. Let's see. Eight, seven. I can't get all my jumps, man. Hmm. To be here in five. Or here in five. Finally managed to catch an FTL stream. I love my YouTube FTL content on YouTube. Thanks, uh, Gentleman Giant. Appreciate that. Okay, this guy's got hacking and a burst laser of some sort. Oh gosh, an O2 hack, okay. No surrender. But he should be delayed. Yeah, we got three systems down. Good. Okay, yikes. Alright, alright. Well, thanks for hacking that and not my shields or weapons. I'll just say thanks for that. Yes, great weapons for Sector 3. If we could just find systems, that would be the best. One, two, three, four. So my only chance to store would be here or here or here. I'd still want to store because we could still afford hacking. I, I would sell an Artemis for hacking right now, 100%. I think. I think I would. Abandoned 2 being lucrative. And to think, I used to think Abandoned Sector... Even in two was not good. Just to think. Oh, how young and naive I was. Forgot to move my NG. Damn it. I got bored of that. Could have been bad. Okay. Uh, sector three is like this. It might be set for most of the run. Um, honestly... 
We don't have to have an amazing Sector 3 after this Sector 2. As long as I can find a single store to keep my health in good shape and start getting some systems feeling good. Basically, all I need is hacking and we're good for a while. I would love cloaking, but you know. As long as we get hacking, we're set for probably up to Sector 4, so... Two, three, four, five. Yeah. Be a dive. Okay. All right, he can't damage us, so how about we chat a bit while we let a basic laser train us for just a little bit? What's up, Mud Pusher? Pusher, you love my YouTube runs. Nice. We're having a lot of folks on the YouTube today. It's awesome. Uh, let's see, what kind of training can I get here? Because we need uh, seven dodges. Seven dodges and we can get level one engines and level one piloting or level two or however you call it. So I think I'm gonna I think we're gonna chill out just a little bit and get a little bit of training here. Like I said, I wanna min-max. Need to not be greedy or impatient. Even though it's a good start, it could go really bad with one bad missile to my weapons or something, so. Auto fire heavy laser, good great call. Great call. Weapon training is even longer, so that's a great call. Should have done that earlier. Maybe I can practice some... Um, the delay on the weapon thing. Maybe it was only beam weapons that that worked on. Because it didn't work with flak. If I hold shift one... Ah, there we go. I think we did it. Well, uh, we'll even practice that micro for weapon training here. So what I'm doing is, what you do is you aim a weapon, as long as it's not a flak. You click and then you immediately shift one to to not fire it. But you get the weapon training. Crazy little tech from Britnoth. Who discovered that, Britnoth? Do you know who discovered that? All right. Well, five more dodges. That's pretty, I mean, it's, it's nothing groundbreaking, but it's kind of insane that somebody figured that out. You heard it from Farb? <laughs> Damn him, yes. And now you can get like weapon training on first fight that can't damage you all the way to full if you're patient enough. I wonder where Farb learned that. All right, how long until dodge training? Five more doges. So we're probably gonna get max weapon training before we get our dodge training to level one. Useful for glaive, true. That's stealth B, although, when do you ever have a ship that can't damage you on stealth B, right? How do you mean it's useful for Glaive? Mantis can spawn with just an ion. Really? Wow, and if they ever ion your weapons once and it puts you 25 seconds behind, you have to have... If you like it, then you better put some bits in it. Hey, another hundred bits, thank you. I don't know if you know how... This is an anonymous means, donation from Commodore Paul. <laughs> uh... I want credit for my anonymous donation, damn it. What's wrong with that? Uh, we've gotten like one dodge so far or two so far this uh, this fight. Um, would you believe it? Our boy Hollow does the no fire weapon training too. You can get training without damaging the ship and full weapon training means you shoot your glaive at the same time as a ship cloaks for the second time, so it's quite important, yeah. Look at the Michael Scott quote you posted two minutes ago. Oh my gosh, two minutes ago. Uh, I have to scroll up, I guess? I I don't see it. Yeah, I don't, I don't see a Michael Scott quote. You decided that travel is worse than the job itself. Yeah, driving to work sucks. 100%. 100% agree with that. <laughs> He's probably got more dodges than I have. Come on, man. 
A hollow strain Glaive on Stealth V during one of his big boy streaks. That was a lot of Minesweeper. <laughs> uh, Michael Scott from The Office once said, I want to be the guy who gives everything ba back. I want it to be like, hey, who donated to that hospital wing that is saving so many lives? Well, I don't know. Is Anonymous. Guess what? That was Michael Scott. But it was Anonymous. How do you know? Because I'm him. <laughs> okay. That does sound about on par with Michael Scott. Failed that one. You have a worse option, public transport. You know, I kind of really wish Dallas had good public transport because I have a feeling I'd use it. Because like if I could ride the train and not have to drive through Dallas traffic, but it didn't take me an hour longer, I would totally do it. It's one of the biggest, oh, one more, one more dodge. One of the biggest things, oh, we even got shield training before or dodge training, that's pretty crazy. Biggest things I do not like about Dallas is the public transport is probably one of the worst. It's probably one of the worst for a major city in the world, honestly. There we go. Got it that time. Okay. Come on. One more dodge and then we're we're blowing this popsicle stand. One more dodge. More thoughts. Well, I guess maybe we'll have max shield training before we get dodge training, I guess. Alright, well there's weapon training maxed. Cool. Well, I mean, I guess I should be grateful I have humans. Here we go. Me saying something good about humans. At least we train faster here. <laughs> uh, at least we train faster. Uh, I guess I can cross-train an NG on weapons now. Since I got nothing else to do while we wait for the dodges. Ah, there we go. Perfect. There it is. There it is. We're not going for level two. I'm just not patient enough for that. Just not patient enough for that. I think the experience required for shields and dodging is actually basically the same amount given 20% dodge as in the number of shots you have to take. Okay. Basically the same amount for what? Between humans and non-humans or what? One good feature of the FTL clone Trigon, you can change the speed of the gameplay. Oh, that is cool. That is cool. Okay, we'll be there. Hunter Scrap. We're still looking for a store. Are we still in that abandoned sector? We are. Okay, sweet. Come on, hacking. If no hacking, a flak, maybe? All right, just have the hacking. Oh, and really good weapons. Okay, uh, it's still always hacking, though, right? Like, man, if I could sell Artemis by Ion Center and Heavy Laser... It's always hacking. It's always hacking. If I sold this, I'd have 39. Yeah, I can't get it. I could get an Ion Stunner instead of an Artemis. That seems like a side grade, though. Heavy Laser. Uh, I mean, it's, it is awesome and all, but just hacking means I can now kill shifts with two shields way easier. Although, I guess I can... Well, hacking lets us do that either way. Ugh, ears get itchy with these things in my ears. Um, I will need power, but let's get a little bit of healing. Go with that. It's just, the answer is always hacking. The answer is buy a flak or get hacking. Dot, dot, dot. Profit. What's up, EPR Light? How are you doing, my friend? All right, another person who can't damage us. So... Yeah, uh, just we already did our, did our training. We'll let him get it. We'll just I'll allow you to fire your weapons at me while I kill you. Imagine taking damage. I know, right? Imagine what kind of noob would do that. Nope. 
You caught a cat in your lap so you can't complain. Nice. 18 scraps. Good amount. Oh, uh, forced sore store after I just spent my scrap. Well, I mean, I still don't mind because I got hacking, but what's at this store that I missed? Right, nothing crazy. If there was like long range scanners, I would have been a little bit sad, but. I could have sold Artemis for long range scanners or something. So I could buy power. I do need to kind of get a little bit of dodge and power because of missiles, but. Sensors for 15. This saves me 10 scrap. What do you all think? I kind of think that's worth it. I hardly ever get sensor upgrade, but I feel like there are some blue options that getting a cheap upgrade, even though it slows down my dodge, might be worth it. What do you all think? Sensors, a cheap sensor upgrade? I think it saves me 10. I wouldn't upgrade up otherwise. Um, it's tough to say, honestly. The question is, how, how often do I think I'll get a blue option from this? There are some quests that if you don't have level 2 sensors, you miss out on stuff. I think it's worth. I'm going to go for it. I, I often say I feel like I don't upgrade my subsystems enough, so... Okay. I investigate the battlefield option. Yeah, let's take notes, take the upgrades, see if it pays off, yeah. Uh, Mantis or NG? I feel like these are two of the worst options, honestly. I don't have good anti-boarding, and NG homeworlds are often... You know, not a lot of scrap gains. Um, since I have an NG, it might be better to go NG homeworlds. Hey, what's up, Grey Haunter? At least we have blue options, and we could do the NG homeworlds quest. Thing is, I don't really like the NG Homeworlds quest because unless you can crew kill, it's what two scrap gains for four jumps or something like that. It's Mantis three, only one border. I don't know. With, with so little scrap, I kind of don't want stores clogging up my jumps. So I guess I'm gonna go Mantis and make sure we always have our NG indoors. I need to get one power before anything else, I think, so I can have my hacking online. No, start with an empty jump, man. Uh, you can't find Kazak in this sector. I will sell five. Because that could see me at least my power to use my hacking. Um... Uh, no, for Kazak, it's level 3 sensors and level 2 heal bay if you don't have teleporter. It's level 3 sensors. Alright, you have a missile. Okay. Okay, good. With only one shield, I'm gonna save a jump part. Oh! Okay. Okay, good. We're gonna let him run. This is a free weapon. We let him run. So I don't have to take missiles for it. We'll take it. After them. Not you again, he's gonna say. We took one damage from one missile. Not terrible. Right before the axe of beacon. Okay. Yeah. Chat, help me remember how many blue options I get with level 2 sensors. Okay. So we're going to usually, used to, I would hack the piloting to stop their dodges, but we're going to actually hack his engines, missile the shields, and then shoot two other rooms to pull the pilot. That's the plan here. That should pull the pilot. Nice, we got the bomb offline. Perfect. Now we take his piloting offline so we can't run. Perfect. Maybe I could have gone for a crew kill there. Well, he's got heal bay with all those fires. Yeah, I don't think we ever crew killed that. What's the reason for the vented rooms? 
Um, did you literally not see what happened the last jump? We do this. Literally last jump, Mantis boarded and he was in there. That's that's why. Because I moved my crew into doors is the reason for that. Okay. Um, store. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Okay. We have a part-time silly device. That's right. He only goes to NG Door University on the weekends because he can't afford otherwise. Okay, no teleporter here. Two shields, missile. Okay. Do the same. Well, I'm going to hack piloting this time. Oh my gosh, this guy's got three lasers. Okay. Mm. You didn't see it. My stream can be six hours long. You don't look the whole time. Okay. Good to know. Okay. Okay, so this, this. 41 scrap. Coming up to a store. What are we looking at for a store? Long range scanners is probably the one thing we'd want to maybe actually have enough scrap to get. How fast they jump for the quest, you think it's fair? It's time for they must have an advanced FTL navigation? I don't know about that. Uh, they won't They won't allow this. Do I get rid of all of my missiles for this quest? We do have a store coming up, so if I can sell my Artemis for a heavy laser or an ion stunner, maybe. I don't know, man. The rewards for this are either usually what? Repairs, a drone part, um, scrap, right? Anybody have these rewards memorized? Except when Mimbola. You know Britnoth? I'm not sure if it's worth getting rid of the last five missiles for whatever the rewards are here. With two shield ships and hacking, I kind of feel like I don't want to give away my my missiles. But if they give me a free, like, weapon. It can be repairs. You think it's not worth it? I think I agree. If, if we get repairs and not something that helps our offense, we have gimped our offense. And this is the Sector 3 with two shield ships. I can't do it. Can't do it. It's either 10 repair, reactor, or scrap. Okay, so none of that helps my offense. Oh, three borders. I hope I had my crew in the right place. Okay. Come on in. The die-in's fine. Okay, good. Yeah, I think I think we needed to keep the missiles for our offense. Old Rand would have sold those immediately and then been like, oh crap, why is my offense so weak? But new Rand has evolved. Oh, what's up, Tesla Coil? Two sensors gives the following. Brutal exchange between ships, destroy a cargo ship, hidden fed base, NG research station, more to come. Okay. From what you have learned in FTL, better be safe than sorrow, you can predict more. Did that was that just three empty jumps? God damn it, I hate it. Unless it's Mantis Homeworlds, Mantis sectors just suck, man. So I could sell an Artemis for a heavy laser, and I have just enough for long range scanners, so Probably still worth to check the store. Oh, it's a burst laser too. Okay, do can I sell? I think I have just enough to sell my heavy laser, my Artemis for a burst laser too. Right, sixty-six, 
76, 85. I think I'll have five scrap to spare. But I think that's worth it. Right, you all agree? One extra shot, It's it's gotta be, right? Man, I wish I could do it without selling the heavy laser. It's uh, one extra shot that doesn't require missiles. Yeah. It'd be really nice if I could keep this and get it, but we just have to do it. Not sure if it's efficient enough, but it's just the right play. Um, get rid of the unreliability of missiles. Whole laser I don't think was worth it all. Um... I could have kept the heavy laser if I did that. So actually, I don't think that was a terrible choice. We're gonna repair two there. But I think between the two, getting the double burst laser two is just better. We have NG for this blue option. Okay. Oh, if only I had this before the store. <laughs> oh, I would have had to sell the burst laser or the heavy laser if I had gotten this event before the store. Wow, what an amazing event that was. We get a free weapon from this quest, too, remember. Um, okay. So if I hack his piloting, we have a guaranteed four shots get through his shields, right? Four shots, and he's got one, two, three, four, five. He's got six or seven weapon power here. Oh, if I hack shields, I have a potential of six shots getting through, but that's too unlikely, so. Oh, man, it's double borders. Oh, God. Get his missile offline. Oh, fuck you! Fuck you, game! I fucking hate you, game. Missile my goddamn weapons. Oh, and I have no O2. God damn it, this is really fucking bad. How do I, I have to repair this? God damn this shit. One fucking missile, man. I'm so screwed. Um, and I can't run. Well, it's gonna run on missiles eventually, I guess. Fuck you, game! Oh my god. Running away again. This is so fucking stupid. Oh, fucking missiles are goddamn broken and bullshit, man. Okay, his weapons are on fire. His crew's almost dead. He's trying to run. Okay, he's gone. He's getting out, isn't he? Yeah. I hate this fucking game. I hate this fucking game. So the systems he hit. Weapons, shields. Um, hacking and O2 and piloting. Fuck this game. That is so bullshit. So I just took like fucking 12 damage and got nothing out of it. And then they pulled their borders to run away. And they had level 2 piloting. They had a, they had a value point in piloting because I'm pretty sure I hit their piloting once. Hack weapons and burn O2. Are you crazy on that fight? Try to crew kill on that fight? Well, I have to micro with borders. No effing way. Level one, level one, hacking against weapons would have done jack crap. I think. God 
damn this fucking game, man. Did I get 30 scrap? Well, I guess it wasn't nothing. Still, F this game. What a stupid bullshit fight. One single weapon, man. One single fucking missile did that shit. So frustrating. One single goddamn missile. Hacking piloting. That's what I've been doing. I've been hacking piloting. Like... Usually the best tack if you only have level one piloting, right? Okay, at least it wasn't five free hole damage. <laughs> That's so frustrating. Missed that on a free weapon and took all that goddamn damage. Yay, force mantis after a shitty mantis sector. Yes, I hacked piloting against that fight and then shot his weapons because that guy had a missile and two a chain laser and a burst laser of some sort. So that guy had that guy had about seven fucking weapon power, which is just bullshit. Oh, I need I need like I need mind control, but I think I have to buy doors with the mantis borders. Though I also want to do engines, but oh man. At least it wasn't Force Abandoned for. I guess so. Guess so. Good. Hey, what do you know? A single fucking two damage missile. By the way, F you, FTL. AB4 isn't so bad, but you'd want more system than these. AB4 can still be... Oh, it's the same event again. <laughs> oh, God damn, it's the same fucking event. Ugh. Yeah, I can go bang my wall against another Mantis Bomber that's got 12 weapon power and 18 shields. God damn it, man. Yeah, this event is taunting me right now. Oh, they really want to get me sensor upgrades, huh? Yes, an anonymous gifter gifted a bunch of subs, so congrats. You won... The ten random subs. Ah, oh, two mantis sectors in a row, which is a bunch of empty, shitty jumps and no scrap gains, man. Oh, this is this is where we fall behind. This is where we fall behind. Zero fucking dodges, man. Of course, my dodge is low, so it's not surprising, but still. I could a little, if I could have just a little bit less shitty RNG game, I'd really appreciate that. Like a free repair or something, I don't know, man. You've only had one free repair, what about second free repair? Oh, I know I need lots of upgrades, I know. We're, we're, we're 
behind. It's kind of the, the reason I'm getting so frustrated with so little scrap gains is because I'm just I'm behind. So like I need level two hack. I need some engines. Um, with being in a mantis sector, I would love to have like any goddamn store to sell this thing at. I'd love to have mind control to deal with borders. I think I have to do this. Single missiles are just killing me right now. I have to get a little bit of dodge. Did you know about 11 hold pointsies? <laughs> oh god. Oh, it's a pulsar with flak, heavy laser one, burst laser two, bomb. So I think I have to hack weapons here. So what's the thing with flashing shields? You do that so you don't lose your shields, but you're most likely more likely to lose weapons, right? Yeah, that's that's easy boss killing build right there. Only level one hacking that I have. But I think I hack weapons, wait for the pulsar, shoot everything at weapons right as the pulsar goes off. A little more likely to lose weapons if you flash the shields. Is it GG? Well, I mean, there's always some randomness to it. I think my best bet. I could try the shift one two weapon depower trick to try to avoid eye on there too. I think I want to fire my weapons right as the pulsar goes off, and I want to hack their weapons. I think that's what I'm gonna do. He's also gonna board me, by the way. Beautiful. That's that right there. I think was my best bet. We got there. It's not GG. We got there. As long as the pulsar does not take out my weapon, so I can't finish him. And the pulsar hit their weapons too. Okay, nice. You're right. Do I take this with four fires in their weapons? Even if the pulsar hits our weapons. Do I think we kill them? Their piloting is down, but it's not on fire. Um, I'm, I'm debating if it's too greedy to not take the surrender. I think it's too greedy to not take the surrender. Another shot's on its way, but I need three more shots, so I'm taking the surrender. Okay, I didn't hit my weapons, so we could have been greedy, but it's fine. I'd rather be safe. We were a little low on fuel in any anyway. Let's not be any greedier on this fight. I'm just gonna be happy we didn't die there. We could have easily died right there. So Okay. So this is Mantis Bomber. I don't know, I'm trying to debate if I even want to go there. God. You would recommend trying with pulsars to depower your weapons to zero if they aren't about to fire just as the pulsar strikes? Sure, if I wasn't playing no pause, maybe I'd try to micro that. Okay, he's got boarding. His weapons aren't insane. Only a single border, okay. Uh, This guy's got value point shields, should be fine though. Okay, good.
Um, let's see, is this my music choice playing or a modded soundtrack? It's a modded soundtrack. Uh, some of them are bonus tracks from Ben Prunty and some other random things that I got from a viewer. That was very generous, although I did pay five bucks for it, I think, so. <laughs> who's not, who's not, who does not think it's worth it to buy some bonus tracks from Ben Prunty? Seven, six, five, four, three, two. So I can't get all jumps if I go that way, but if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I can get all these jumps. I'm really worried about dying on that fight. No, and I might go one, two, and if I don't feel good and I see a store here, I might just skip the quest and go to the store. Kind of trick you can't just do out of nowhere. You need to practice it to avoid losing charge. Plus anything else you might need to concentrate on, yeah. Okay. Something maybe I would want to practice at some point. So, if I side with the Fugitive, I have a chance at a Mantis, but I also have a chance at 5 free hull damage. So, the most likely way to not take hull damage is Agree to Offer Up, right? Because Agree to Offer Up is a 1 and 3 to take hull damage. Yeah, we're playing Advanced Edition. There's no mods or adjustments in any of that. It's 1 and 3, okay. I, I normally would do this, but at 10 health, I can't. I, I feel like I can't go for the 50 50 on taking 5 free hole damage. Okay, alright. Okay. Um. Okay, well, we shot a shot down, so that's one way to dodge a bullet. Saying I can dodge bullets. So, I wonder if I would have gotten a Mantis if I chose the other thing by seeing Mantis on this ship. I don't know if that reveals it by us seeing this or not. What did you miss that the hacking drone got through? Uh, it's called, uh, I don't know what it's called, but you can bypass any amount of defensive drones with hacking if you know how to do the micro. Basically, you depower hacking while it's in mid-flight. There's plenty of videos on YouTube to show exactly how to do it. The hacking depower trick, is that what people call it? Okay. One more jump before we decide if we go there. You look it up, yeah. I, I talk about it in my FTL for beginners guide. Oh. I'm just going to take the damage in there. Shameless self plug. Check out my. FTL for Beginner's Guide. Okay. You call it hacking jukes, okay. <laughs> Some people call it an exploit. I call it clever use of game mechanics. Especially since the devs have said they're fine with it. Even if the devs weren't fine with it, I'd still do it because it's FTL's already broken in the fact that enemies can roll five shields and more than eight weapon power and all that kind of stuff. Um, let's see, combat drones are a bit annoying just because you have to keep watching the anti-drones charge. Hacking trick takes hacking from a great system to an OP system, yeah. Ah, nine health, two shields, three dodge. I honestly don't think I can take this next fight. 
I could level I could level up hacking to level two so I can guarantee get through three uh, three shields. But if he's got boarding and some amazing weapon system. Well, if I upgrade anything, it's hacking, not not engines, I don't think. This is the um the free weapon quest that almost killed us last last time. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to do that. I think I do that anyway, but I'm trying to decide. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I clicked the wrong thing at first. Do that anyway. I'm still on the fence here. One, two, three. I miss out on two jumps if I go straight to the exit. He's going to board me with at least one crew, probably two. I do have upgraded doors. Hey, what's up, Lordy? How's the stream going? Trying not to die. Trying not to die. Otherwise, great. Otherwise, great. Oh, man, I'm going for it. Oh, I want a weapon. Oh, you thought... Oh, you're asking if I want a weapon buffer. No, not more than I need level 2 hacking against a ship that's guaranteed going to have three shields. <laughs> he has two shields. Okay, um... I think this guy is actually weaker than the last guy. So I think I actually hack this guy's weapons like I did last time. With only two shields, I think I hack weapons, fire everything at weapons on auto fire, and then deal with the borders. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a burst laser three. By hack piloting, I have four guaranteed shots into weapons, which will guarantee that we'll have a missile stay online. So I'm gonna hack weapons and auto fire at weapons. That's perfect. Okay, now we fire at shields. Actually, we fire at piloting. Uh, no, let's fire at shields first. Because we'll have the hack up. Oh, wait, no, we're, we don't have... Okay, whatever. Okay, he's going to board me again. Beautiful. Okay, we got this. We got this. Not a bad weapon. Is that good enough? What I like about Small Bomb is it's a one power weapon, so it's inexpensive to get online, and we do have 11 missiles. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Good enough right now. Well, it could be sold for more, yeah, but if if your thing is you like it because you can sell it, then you should absolute, absolutely finish them off because almost every other weapon you could get would sell for more than a small bomb would. But it is a transition weapon, so I'm I'm highly highly considering it. We can hack we can hack engines, small bomb shields, and do a similar build with what we did with Artemis early earlier. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take it. Take it. I think it's good enough. And then go back to using level one hacking on shields. And how much scrap could we accept? Do you mean expect? Um, I don't know if when you kill them and get scrap, if the gains are more than that. I honestly don't know the answer to that. It's also a value point for our burst lasers, so I do like that. One, two, three, four, okay. We could still easily die here. 
Still crazy mantis bombers that could kill us. That was surprisingly weak, that ship. Okay. Oh god, I timed that wrong. Good dodge. Nice. I have two drone parts left, I just realized. And wasted one by failing that. That's kind of uh, scary. This guy should get out of here without us having to do anything else. Yeah. A bomb. Just guarantee. Well, I have two drum parts left. Okay, we got one back. That's good. That boarding was a way better situation too. Teleported to our airlock. Yeah, I think last time they boarded into what our shields or something. I haven't seen a store this sector yet, have I? I do I still have that hacking? Yeah, that drone recovery arm. Wow. Oh my God. Oh, that weapon system. That's the second ship this sector we've seen a burst laser two and a flak. And he's got hacking. <laughs> oh my god, these ships. <sighs> if you like it, then you better put some bits in it. Hey, you like thanks it, for 100 then you bits. Put some bits in it. You need dopamine, okay. I need dopamine. Come one brain. Give it to me. Reward me. Oh man. So what do I hack here? I guess I wait for his hack. Because if he hacks my hacking, I hack nothing. If he hacks my weapons, I feel like I have to hack his weapons right back if he does that. Okay. I do it right back to you, sir. I don't know if that was the right choice, but I have level 2 hacking to his level 1, so... Please hit. God, that weapon system, man. That was a good play, thank you. Appreciate that. I was gonna I was gonna hack his piloting if he didn't hack my weapons. That way I could guarantee my first volley. But once he hacked my weapons, I felt like if I didn't counter that I was I was too far behind. Plus with our weapons hacked, it would have if he hit our weapons with his volley, we were just probably dead. Waiting for the hack might have saved me a few hole there, yeah, I think so. Wow, we didn't get a store. Our stores must have been over there. I think I saw every other jump we could have seen. Unless we get exit beacon store. Seven health and a dream right now. Scratch some of the debris. Ha! Ah, well, that's an easy choice. No thanks, Abandoned Sector 5. No thanks. Ah, I was hoping for early NG... Uh, mall. Now we have a forced not NG mall. <sighs> the eternal conundrum. I, I get this comment on YouTube so much where somebody's like, you died with 112 scrap. That's just bad play. Well, you know, if I spend all my scrap on defenses in hopes that I get to a store and then have no scrap at a store, then it's like the eternal do I spend my scrap to survive or do I save my scrap to actually be able to upgrade at a store what's what's the play man what's the play because I could get third shield but no power for it and have 12 scrap left and no scrap for a store I have hacking and guns, I need to avoid dying. I agree. And so that's why right now what I'm considering doing is one engine point and a power. So I can at least have a little bit more defense without gimping my scrap numbers if I can make it to a store. 
So I think I do a little bit of upgrading, but not spend all of my scrap. Yeah, I agree. I think I think this is the upgrade that keep has me a chance to keep me alive here. We still hack engines to small bomb shields while we shoot weapons and shields, probably. You think two power? I'm thinking one power because my plan is to only use one power in hacking to hack engines. We have three shield ships. We guarantee we get one shield down. Then we have four shots that are guaranteed to hit. So that would be probably two shield tune weapons. Yeah, I kind of don't want to spend that much scrap. I do have drone recovery arm to sell, but... Yeah, we're gonna need drone parts. Just just get a free small bomb. That's that's pretty nice too. Free small bomb into a store. NG sector four to wins, man. Alright, this store's not amazing. Um, but there's another store. <laughs> Useless drone recovery arm hasn't saved me one yet. I know, right? We never have enough missiles to use that. I'm trying to decide how much I spend here. I get three more jumps before this other store. I think we always get backup battery. I'm gonna buy two drone parts. I'm gonna repair that much. Now we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because if we can get mind control at this store, I would be very happy. That's the plan anyway. Five, six, seven. I think I have more options if I go one, two, three, four, like that. Although, if that's a store, that would mean it's probably a little bit worse. So, let's go one, two, three, four. Perhaps repair a bit more. Uh, well, we have another store that I'll be able to repair at. It's punished. Three shield, Zoldan shield, double missile ship, man. That is so unlucky. He's got mind control as an extra system. Oh, he's got Zoldan shield to protect from the uh, pulsar. God damn, this sucks. Okay, at least that's probably the best mind control target. Apart from his missiles, this guy is not scary at all. Sadly, his missiles are terrifying. Okay. Okay, missile offline. Okay, okay. Okay, maybe I can practice flashing my weapons this time. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I... I could have not taken that damage. I was so focused on the weapon timing and everything, I just, I failed that. Completely failed just to take into account their mind control being online. Honestly, for that fight, only taking four damage is pretty good. But I could have taken one less if I had been on top of moving my crew quicker. Okay. Uh, any thoughts from the other veterans? How much hull you should at least fly through the galaxy? I used to stay right at 20 hull because there are a number of 10 free hull repair jumps. However, during the tournament, Freddy 
convinced me, well, he said he likes to say at 23, that protects you from one three damage missile or one ASB dive. So I like to stay at 23 when I have the luxury of staying that high. Now you need to depower all of the weapons for that to actually do anything? Okay. Okay, we're gonna have your stuff here. Okay. Crew kill this. Maybe. I delayed that purposefully. So worth the missiles to crew kill this. It might be. Oh, his weapons are back online. Uh. I'm not sure if this is worth the missiles, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, what? Why is this back online? Damn it. Oh, he's going to burn down anyway. I don't even get the crew kill, do I? Ah, fuck you, FDL. Stupid goddamn delay on the clone bay timing. So I just wasted five missiles for nothing. If he had level two teleporter, I actually would have gotten that crew kill. God damn it. Waste of goddamn missiles. <sighs> there are actually too many fires there. God damn it. Shooting one laser and depowering required a lot of micro and also his ship not to burn down, so that's why I didn't go for that. Okay, we can do that quest. There's a flak. It's the flak of Jabate, everybody. I want to be I want to be debated by it. I think I buy it. Question is, if I buy it, do I sell my small bomb? I couldn't get the flak online if I sold the small bomb. Right, seventy-five scrap. I think it's a strong debate. I'm not selling the small bomb yet. I have four missiles. If I sell a small bomb, I'm weakening my offense for little to no gain right now. I need another 75 scrap to get online. That's why it's a debate. Although I think I used the flak. Helps me get through shields. I'll repair some. So we're rescuing a store over here. Should have bought scrap recovery arm. Sarcasm. I think that's a sarcasm <laughs> thing. Jebate is an emote, and it's what people say on Twitch when there's a choice that looks good but is actually a trap. Although I would argue that Flack is never a Jebate, but it's Definitely a debate sometimes. Uh, we have in uh, human. Human gets his mantis. Yes, yes, yes. Finally, that means we have a real 
A really silly device you've been in disguise all this time. Welcome to the device, welcome. Okay. So we're rescuing the store. Uh, if you want to be named crew, it's fine. Just let me know, I'll get, eventually do it. Dodge. Good stinking dodge, okay. Basically, we want to use up our missiles now because we'll be swapping to this first laser plus double flak soon. I mean, double first laser plus flak soon. Come on, man! Give me a break with these dodges with your piloting hack. F you! That is such bullshit. Piloting hacked? Oh, I still dodge 50% of shots. Why? Because F you. That's why. We, I don't think we would have taken that missile if he hadn't dodged all that crap. Free repair, 40 scrap, and a store. Okay. Got to save this. I forgot that this comes with repair. It's only, what was it, five? Still good, but... Mind control. This to sell. Okay. I kind of need drone parts, too. Wow, there's a lot of stuff I want. I made a reloader. Um, okay, we 100% do this. We always do that. Now our weapons are insane. What else do we do? I can just barely buy an automated reloader. Kind of feel like I buy fuel repairs and drone parts. <laughs> as much as I hate spending scrap on all that stuff, I feel like that's what I do. Hey, thank you for the follow, Valorant Champions Tour AJ. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a greed debated moment too. Um, let me just do that. I hate spending scrap on that stuff, but I think it's the right play. Our weapons are great, our defense is not great right now, and that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> okay, thanks for free flak too. That's worth, what is that, like 35 scrap or something? Okay. All right. Um, probably civilian, but that could be a forced slug sector seven. I think we could probably handle a forced civ civilian sector seven. I mean, a forced slug. Um, Pirate, we have a chance of free crew, right? Or a higher chance of free crew. But pirate, we also have chance at slug pirate ships that are overpowered. Zultan pirate ships with Zultan shields. How, how, how much is civilian sector worth right now? If we get enough scrap gains and can get mind control or cloaking, that would be really good. Let's go here. Yes, the Flark 2. Most powerful weapon in the galaxy, the Flark 2. Every time you fire it, you say, Flark! Uh, you prefer three burst laser mark twos and instead of a flak, burst laser mark two. <laughs> wow, you're not greedy or anything. Oh my god. I go to s civilian to avoid pirates. What's the first ship we fight? A rock pirate with cloaking flak missile. Forcing me to pay a toll. Oh. God damn it, Gabe. I'm actually hacking weapons here. If I can potentially hack before his first shot. That's level two cloaking. Okay, at least he didn't hit my weapons. 
Not those dodges. Okay, alright, we got all of the important weapons offline. Okay. <laughs> Good weapons, but I would prefer if you had exactly the best weapon system in the game. I would prefer that too, actually. You make a good point. Two burst laser twos and a flak one's good, but it's no three flak, four full flak one flakenings. Two fuel and a drone part is honestly kind of tempting, but I'm not taking it. You want to be on shields, okay. Yay, even more fuel and drone parts and a lot more scrap. Uh, who's on shields? You want you want to replace Agent Smith? Agent Robert Smith? Uh, uh, I hear you, but what if you had two advanced flak and two halberd beams? Duh. Honestly, I'd rather have a full flakening than what you just described. Even though we described as technically better, I like weapons that I don't have to micro. <laughs> you want to be the pilot? Okay, I forgot to heal. Okay. If you like it, then you better put some bits in it. If you like it, then you better put some bits in it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh -huh. Okay. Hey, thanks for the 100 bits, Mason Base. Appreciate that. Honestly, one of the reasons I like the flackening so much is because I can aim all four weapons, they time out perfectly, and I don't have to do any other micro for them. So on hard mode, no pause especially, it frees up my micro for hacking, for dealing with borders, and all that kind of stuff. Well, I was going this way to get scrap before the store, but how about if I uh, have give you a store with your store so that you can store while you store in your store? This is a dive sector, by the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dive potentially. Okay, so I can sell flak 2 from my control. Is that what I want to do? There's another store there. Um, our defense is still quite weak. Anybody with cloaking and a bunch of good weapons, I don't have a counter to right now. So I could save my scrap in hopes that... I'm not finding another store in this sector. I could go one, two, three, and hope we get enough for cloaking. Is that too greedy? Is that too greedy? Because if I get cloaking, that would be so, so very nice. We're in sector six. The other thing to consider is the rarity of systems in stores. I feel like skipping an opportunity to get one of the two other systems I need is definitely too greedy. I'm taking this. Preparing this. And then we hope for good stores next sector. Problem is I can't even get over here efficiently without going through the store. Is that right? Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Okay, I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, dive. Okay, I think that's even better. Six, two, three, four, six. Okay. So I'm purposefully choosing to not upgrade my defense to get a system online. That is that is the choice that I'm making right now. Yes, many things would be nice. 
Many things would be nice. I keep getting stuff right after stores that I would have loved to have had at the store to sell, but okay. We'll sell it at the next store. Seven, eight. We'll hope we get one store next sector with cloaking. That's, that's the goal. Save up for cloaking. You encounter the flagship. After a short time, the flagship noticed your four flak. Flagship started to be scared, so instead of fighting, she flew into Federation fleet and suicided herself. Praise for flackening. Wow, double missiles. Okay, um... I'm going to hack your weapons. I see your missiles, I say F your missiles, and I shoot your missiles. Good. Oh, damn it. Of course he gets his other fast-charging missile right up in time. Nope! Haha, <laughs> no dodges for you. Get wrecked. Beautiful. Thought maybe I'd get lucky with a fire in there and maybe get a crew kill or something, but okay. Great sportsmanship, no dodge, no dodge, get wrecked. Uh, have you played FTL? There is no sportsmanship. FTL will do things like, haha, I have 10 weapon power, which you are literally unable to get. Of course I'm gonna, of course I'm gonna talk crap whenever I finally have something good happen. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, dive. Wait, why am I diving? This is not a nebula. No, I shouldn't dive. Okay. Yeah, FTL is unsportsmanlike. So, you gotta, you gotta rejoice while you can. Oh, empty jumps and empty jumps and empty jumps. Pulsar. Offensive drones. We hack this. Okay, I have no shields. That's bad. I'm greeting. I think we greed this time. Yes, beautiful. Okay, we only took like three damage there. That's pretty good for that crazy offense. Double offensive drones and an iron true drone. One, two, three, four, five, six. That was seven drone power. In case anyone's counting. Seven drone power. Which is kind of insane. Plus, uh, I didn't see how much weapon power. Five or six, maybe? I don't know. Something crazy. Why is diving in Nebula acceptable? Because there's no ASB in the, uh, when you dive in a, in a Nebula. Guaranteed no ASB is why it's a preferable way of diving. Okay. on this. Uh, I took one extra damage from a single laser double fire, my favorite. Deal. Uh, 
FTL is a universe where dirty blows are exchanged like money in the shop for trades. One side has power surges, free hacking and such. The other has hacking drone, depower, dolphin maneuvers, free igniters. Yes. All right, we have enough for cloaking. Now we need to find a store that has cloaking without dying. Exit Beacon could be a store with cloaking. I'll take a five damage repair, actually. All right, four slug home nebula. All right. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. No, we have to get O2. That is required in a slug nebula. Honestly, I kind of think I need to get level 3 hacking, but if I want to get cloaking, I feel like I can't spend that scrap. Oh, this is scary. Do I buy into the philosophy that in FTL we are the bad guys? Um, in my opinion, if we really want to talk about the politics and morality of FTL, I'm going to say it's a gray universe where... There are, it's, it's just like real life. You know, there are people that go, USA is the best country in the world. There are problems with the USA. I, I like living in the USA, but I'm not gonna say that USA is the good or the bad guys. There's good and bad things on both sides, which might say sound like a cop out, but the world is gray. So, you know, we can be bad or good. Depends on the situation. I have the mind control counter. I don't have cloak and counter. Ion blast mark two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight weapon power, cloaking, and shields. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, at least he's got low level on that. No pause just got me effed right there. Could have had more dodges there. Pretty mind controlled. <sighs> Too fast for me. Oh, that's a good dodge. No surrender, F you. Okay. Good dodge. Can I have half of the dodges, this douchebag? Seriously, man. Finish him, please. Good. Uh, you decided that the fan-made animated series of this game is the real lore of this game, Kappa. Okay. Speaking of which, they're about due for the final episodes, aren't they? You've come to the conclusion recently that the American dream is not work hard, make money. It's rather make money to stop, spite everyone else from making money. That <laughs> sounds... I mean, the rich get richer. That's that's the real American dream. The real American dream being born to rich people so that you can be more rich. <laughs> that's the, the real American dream. Uh, okay. I'm looking for a store with cloaking. That is my main goal here. If I do this, I'll still be able to sell that thing to get cloaking. So let's do that. Um, okay. All right, there's our store. Let's do one more jump before the store and hope we don't die. I feel like slugs always have a huge amount of dodge. Well, they're all, they're all really high broken amounts of power. So like this guy gets free hacking on my heel bay and free borders. This, this event is just bullshit. At least he doesn't have cloaking, I guess. And I, I can't use my control as a counter. 
four shields. Uh, somebody will have to permit you for a post, and I'm not going to do that right now. Um, my hack is piloting. I'm guaranteed to get one, two, three, four, five shots through. They don't look like engineers. So racist. <laughs> ah, so I have to deal with borders. What do I hack? Do I just hack his weapons? No, I have to hack shields or, or engines. Or, I mean, shields are... Well, I guess I can do engines instead of piloting. Alright, let's hack piloting and then deal with these borders. They're in my O2. Offline, our shields are up. Okay, I think we got this. I hand the missiles back online. Of course, it is. Okay, good. Okay. Okay. Uh, remember that thing about where I said where the game cheats? That guy literally had, what was it, two extra systems? He didn't have hacking or teleporter, but he was able to hack me and teleport on me. So, that is why I never feel bad about talking smack to FTL. Frickin' cheaters, man. Uh, yeah, if you want to post, you gotta, here, let me, let me give you a permit here. There. Now you can post a link or picture or whatever. All right. Sometimes I fantasize about being a golden retriever in an upper class family. <laughs> okay, nice. Relevant picture is relevant. Okay. All right. Please have cloaking. Please have cloaking. If no cloaking, we probably buy third shield. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, we got another store. Could buy Clone Bay. What if I Clone Bay? I would still have enough for cloaking. With this low crew. Sector 7. We have a pretty good crew killing setup on the boss. I think I'm not going to spend any extra scrap. We're going to just hope for cloaking here. This is a this is a dive sector. Exit beacon and nebula, 100% a dive sector. We get at least two, maybe like three extra jumps from it. Okay. Yes. Max O penis activate. Okay, what else you got here? Anything else amazing? Nothing amazing. Okay. Um, let's see here. So now, how many jumps? We get at least seven, so I need three, three fuel. Let's do that. Now it's all about just getting our shields and power, and we're looking good. Wrong flak. Honestly, I feel like getting another weapon might be a debate here because I have so much defense I need to get. I think with hacking. Hop on the streak two train. We just need to get defense now. Do I want another drone part? Five drone parts. We get one repair station in the final sector. Hopefully be enough. I could have had the bad flackening, you're right. The double flak two flak one flackening. I could have. Whew. Dodge the bullet there. Okay, let's just start getting our upgrades that we need. So that's going to be there. Uh, would you like payment? Decline. All right, so I want to be here in six. Can I do that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Here in seven, can I do that? One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. Yes, but will I? Well, we'll give ourselves the option. One, two, three, and then we'll see if that's enough. Four, five, two, three, four. So that gives me four nebula jumps compared to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three nebula jumps. Four nebula jumps, I feel like we're more likely to get the seventh there. I need to get at least one fuel from one of these jumps if I'm going to go for that, though. What's wrong? Demand the rock pay. Okay. Oh, wow. Four shields, cloaking, big giant missile, flak, heavy laser two. Okay, you're a balanced ship. Oh, we shot down his missile. Get wrecked. Ha ha ha. Yeah, stinking wrecked, dude. We actually shot down his missile with a laser, I believe. He boarded me again. Where is he? Can't see. I hear him trying to get through a door. Maybe it's over on their side of the ship. Got it. Thought he boarded me though. Okay. I cannot believe we took zero damage that fight. I cannot believe it. Ooh, free reactor upgrade. Nice. Uh, flak one, heavy two. Yeah. Does anyone know how much is Fleet Pursuit affected by Nebula and Nebula Sector? Are you sure it's 20% slower, but you might be different? I don't know what, what that number is. I don't know if... Does anybody... Britnoth, is that a thing that is known by anybody? The amount of delay in a Nebula Sector? We know it's half in a Nebula outside of a Nebula Sector, but I don't know... I don't know if anybody's ever measured that. Is it like a third or something? I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna be able to get six here. Did I get fuel? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need one more fuel. It's about two thirds. Tesla coil says four fifths. It's a free jump every five nebulas. You always fail as three fourths. Okay, there's a lot of different things there. Yeah, we don't have enough time for that. Not enough time. Double muscle, double muscles and boarding. Okay, we're gonna hack your shields. offline perfect okay <laughs> okay he's gone good fight good fight one fuel three fuel beautiful three drone parts though okay 69 four twentieths <laughs> nice nice uh let's see Eyeballing it, 80% looks about right. You don't like how weird my control is half the time, yeah. So do I do I make it? One, two, three, four. Yeah, we make it. We have enough fuel. Actually, drone parts I'm worried about running out of now. Let's get the value point there. <laughs> 69, 4 20th. That sounds like real good math right there. We don't get five, that's for sure. Yeah, empty jump is empty. Ho! Oh, one, two, three. Okay. Well, I can get a store. With 52 scrap, do I even want a store? I don't think I do, right? 
All I want is scrap gain, so one, two, three is more scrap gain potential. Got all of our systems. All we need is scrapped upgrade said systems. Not empty jumps, that's definitely not what I want. What is Slug Nebulous thing? You need to buy a level 202 to deal with a certain potential event. That's one of the main quirks, I would say, of it. Um, but there's a lot of quirks for Slug Nebula. I don't know if there's one single quirk. Take some knowledge to manipulate mind control to your greatest advantage. An hour ago, I said something like, unless it's Mantis Homeworlds, Mantis Sectors are shiz nizzle. How so? Uh, well, when I just got two Mantis Sectors in a row, we were getting hardly any ship fights. And if you don't get ship fights, you don't get scrap. And that's why. We were not gaining scrap. Okay, I'm gonna hack your weapons and then just get out of here. They're in the heal thing. Wow, that was amazing dodges. This missile should never get to fire. I mean, it should never get to do damage to us. This flak should never get to fire. Out. And the Mantis borders were kind of a pain. Yeah, that too. Uh, let's see. What's up, Volba? How are we doing? Um... What's up, Arkan Artist? Any chance I could hi to your boys Elliot and George who are watching the stream with you tonight? Absolutely. How are you doing, Elliot and George? Enjoy the FTL. Why are you on the stream where I'm probably going to rage and curse? <laughs> Good to have you here. Uh, reminds me of... Uh, who was it? It's um, this guy, Scottish Pingu whose kids like to watch and thought me raging was really funny, and I'm like, I would not have been allowed to watch my stream as a child. <laughs> Alright, looks like we get one repair uh, thing, which is nice. Better than zero. Uh, sadly, I was hoping I could get more so I could have more drone parts, but that should be enough drone parts for hacking. We got zero value out of that cheap sensors upgrade. I think you're right, I don't think we got anything out of it. Still can't remember that a nebula can't be targeted by ASB. Well, it's only at the exit beacon nebula. I think if you're in a nebula that's in a dive that's not an exit beacon, I think maybe that has an ASB. Not 100% sure on that, though. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Really? Force dive right after that? Ugh, that is the worst they could have... Worst place they could have taken over. Oh, it's Forced Ion Storm. That's what it is. Okay. Oh, gosh. Even though we're, like, strong, we're, like, behind the game strong. Like, we're only strong because we have three of the best weapons in the game. What's the chance we don't do have to do another dive if I go around this way? Very low. So I guess we take the dive now and hope it's not a double dive. Uh, if this gets taken over after this gets taken over, I'm just... Be very mad at UFTL. And I need a level 3 hacking is probably the next thing I need to buy. We have the good weapons and the good systems, but what we don't have is the good upgrades on all of those things. Okay. Okay, let's hack the weapon so that we can cloak the ASB. That is not what I meant to do, but it's fine. Oh, good dodges, man. That's a lot of crew on your ship, by the way. Please tell me I timed it right. 
Oh, that's a delayed ASB. Okay, we got there. Okay, let's get out. Did that bomb hit us? Okay, wow. We go from a dive into an empty jump. I guess I'll be glad it's an empty jump and not a fight that kills us, but... Wow, what a crappy Sector 8 so far. <laughs> and a store when we have no scrap. So I had ship fight. No, we had repair station, force dive, empty jump. That's what we've had in Sector 8 so far. Thanks, game. That's some damage I'm going to get. No, I'm not. Because hacking and cloaking are the two best systems in the game. Oh, but what I really need is freaking scrap right now. Do I have anything to sell? Nope. One bit to appreciate a hundred. Okay. I just had a zero ship fight sector eight. Two empty jumps, force dive, repair station. This is probably the worst sector eight I've had in a while. I have to go here to try to get some scrap before the boss fight. F you, FTL. Can I have a ship fight? Thank God. Okay. a sound and I it triggered me doing something the sound I heard was I don't even know what the sound was okay well, that's a good dodge anyway we have zero shield training it's fine there's so many audio cues that I go off of okay missiles up but we'll have cloaking before that Forty-seven scraps, pretty good gains. Doesn't make up for the four empty jumps or whatever the hell we had in sector eight, but it at least gets us. I think that only gets us level three hacking, not even power. Jesus. NGs took over the last stand. Uh, you aren't a real FTL player till you cloak your own missile. <laughs> That's right. Maybe it was my own flak sound that triggered me. Uh, let's see. Man, I can't get value points. I can't get power. Yeah, I think I have to go with that. And I'll have to take power out of O2 for the mind control. All right, well, here we go. Please don't hack my weapons. We have one attempt to run away and come back, I think. Hack anything but my weapons. Okay, that's an annoying one, but we'll take it. Honestly, that's one of the better hacks. I should get us one crew kill there. Okay. Oh, can we please get a crew kill before they get out? Damn it. Oh, nice. Okay, two crew kills is good. Oh, damn. Don't die. Fire in there. How long is this freaking cloaking, by the way? 
Okay, 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 okay. We got some crew kills. Not the best phase one, but only what was that? Five damage? Guess I'll take that. So that cloaking one is better than two in the boss fight, because it gets to fire up more often. Well, I like to get cloaking two not to use level two cloaking, but to have a value point. So that cloaking doesn't go offline from a single missile. That'll be my counter to that. Okay. So I would like one more power, but I think I think value point and cloaking is more valuable than that, man. God, we got such little scrap this run, it feels like. The mind control going offline, you think, was the audio trigger? It might have been. So next phase is boarding drone, which I don't really have a good way to deal with. I often like to get extra power for that to have level 202 powered. We're just having major power issues because of our scrap gains have been so behind. I have a feeling this is going to be a like under 15 or 1600 scrap run even if we win it. Let's get the cloaking value. I think that's the most important thing. I'm just going to have the doors open. So to slow the breach O2 draining down, and hope he and hope the uh, where do I hope that the drone lands? I hope he lands in probably an O2 actually. O2 or heal bay maybe? No sensors. We we just wanted to land in sensors since we have the value point there. Okay. Remember how in Strange Galaxy mod you could employ one of the three mercenaries to help you fight the flagship? Depending on your actions, one of them would take down both of your flagship, both you and your flagship shields by one layer, while the other would outright fire ASB at the flagship from a large distance. Cool. Okay. All right, how many crew kills did we get? Ah, oh, a decent number. I am hoping I get at least one more this this fight. Okay, I think I'll take that. this. Oh my god, a double fire. Oh, that's bad. My shields are down. My shields are down. Oh, that's painful. I don't have cloaking yet. Ugh. It's a crew kill, but oh my god. We are so low on health. I have no O2. Oh, that was about as bad as of a phase two that could have been. I have fire somewhere. It's in my doors. Oh, I don't think we have it, everybody. I think we're out. So what killed us there? I think it was the shield drone plus the missile into shields, man. I don't know. I don't know what I could have done to play that better. Just have better micro, I guess. I don't know, man. I did not know what I could have done better there. <sighs> Get luckier to not have my shields hit by the guy, I'm guessing, is the only thing I could have done there. Ah, oh, damn it, six health. It's like I'm going to be one and out on one of the best ships in the game again. God, it's so hard. Is eight shots from power surge more likely to hit your hull than three missiles? I don't know. 
Might have worked better if we'd used both O2 so we could kill the boarding drone without losing oxygen. No idea where it would have stolen that power from. Yeah. So basically the better play would have been got get more scrap earlier in the run so I could have had more power. That's the problem. I'm behind in scrap. Remember that thing I said about being out of scrap? Yeah, that's kind of the issue. Oh, god damn it. I got a crew kill or two, so... No, there have been no other fights I could have gotten. I've been checking. I've been looking. There's nothing. There was nothing I could have done. There's no other fights I could have taken. Store got taken over before I even got to it. I think we just got screwed. We have to have such amazing luck for this final phase to work. Um, I need to get the result and shield instantly. I need to like triple dodge his missile, his first missile, and have the second missile line up with the overcharge so I can cloak both of them. Cloak 3 would help. Would it? Yeah, maybe. <sighs> what about using level 2 cloak? Is there any way you using level 2 cloak helps us? So if I cloak the first missile volley as late as possible, does that ever last long enough? For the ASB, I don't think it does. I mean, the overcharge. If power surge times with lasers, that's 10 shots. I think I just have to play this like I normally do. I have to not cloak the missile and hope we dodge. I think that's the only play. Delaying cloak is power surge and second missile. Oh, are you saying cloak the first missile? So you don't cloak the second? Uh, the first power surge? That doesn't sound r good. But I guess you're saying you do that so you cloak the second power surge that lines up with lasers. If the fight lasts that long, I don't think we ever win. You're saying I don't cloak the first missile. Okay, that's what I would normally do. I wouldn't cloak the first missile. Are you saying use level cloaking level 2 cloaking on the first power surge again I don't know that that I, I guess I gotta just time it as well as possible to cloak as much possible I'm just trying to decide if there's any changes I make right now do I do I cloak I don't think I cloak 2 their longer recharge on cloak 2 is not worth Here we go. How much crew does he got? Oh, he's got more borders than I was hoping. Can't cloak it. And they boarded my piloting. I don't even think that timed out correctly. If I run, we're just dead, right? But I still have like three people on my ship right now. Did the ASB already go by or is it in the air? I think the ASB is in the air. You would cloak the first overcharge rather than the first missiles. That's what I always do. I was just trying to see if there was anything. I was trying to think if there's anything else I could do. 
We're clear from the overcharge. I think I'm dead if I run now. I'm probably dead either way. I have level one hacking right now. Oh, let's see. I think my best chance to stay and fight. I got borders I'm still trying to deal with. I think I should hack missiles. Interesting. Hacking missiles. <sighs> Level 2 hacking. It's on fire. She's in there. All right, here we go. This is kind of a fake hack. I almost feel a little exploity for this, but whatever. Or a fake pause, but I've already hacked. He's dead. early again oh my god that's good dodges okay his missiles are offline oh my god oh my god one health left is it mutual destruction one health more than I need Frickin' GG cookie time. I cannot believe we got that. Oh my god. Uh, my hacking burned down for an extra damage too, so... Oh my god, I can't believe we got that. If you like it, you better put some bits in it. If you like it, then you better put some bits in it. Oh my Woo. god. That is the closest win we have had in a long time. Oh, man. <laughs> so I cloaked the missile twice and didn't cloak the ASB. Somehow we had enough dodges to not die. I honestly can't believe that. Remember, kids, Rand is never lucky ever. God, if you're going to say I was lucky to win that, how about the luck I had to get? 44.29 and only 12.83 well scrap. Let's talk about the luck I had to have only have gotten that much scrap. Freaking golf score. Remember what I said about being less than 15 or 1600 scrap? That was way too high of a guess. Under 1300 scrap win right there. Oh my gosh, thank you for the bits there. Oh my god, five crew. Okay, well that was a long run. All right, well, we got Kestrel A down. <laughs> I should have been one of the strongest ships. and Oh, I felt like a freaking slug B run for how much scrap we got. This number right here is the reason that the most, by far, most powerful augment in the game is long-range scanners. If we had gotten long-range scanners at any point in that, that run, that would have paid for itself so quickly. Uh, what's the lowest anyone's ever gotten on hard mode with a winning score? I don't know. People do golf scores. I don't know what those scores are. Probably Hollow's done golf scores that are crazy. All right, my friends. Well, you know what? That's two in a row. That's actually two in a row. Hard fought run. But hey, we got that. So I got to stand up stretch and clear my head after that crazy run. I can't believe we actually won it. When we come back, we'll do another run. And hope I can get more than 1,280 through scrap. Y'all rock. Be back in just a bit, my friends.